Imagine a world where the fate of nations hinged on naval warfare. World War II showcased some of the greatest admirals whose strategies and decisions reshaped the course of history. From the Pacific expanses to the Atlantic depths, these leaders dominated the seas. Admiral Chester W. Nimitz As the commander-in-chief of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, Admiral Nimitz orchestrated some of the most pivotal battles in the Pacific. His strategic genius was evident in victories at Midway and the Philippine Sea, which significantly weakened Japan's naval power. Nimitz's leadership was crucial in turning the tide of war in the Pacific. Admiral Izoroku Yamamoto Admiral Yamamoto is best known for planning the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, which propelled the United States into World War II. Despite this early success, his insistence on complex strategies led to significant Japanese losses later in the war. Yamamoto's impact was profound, affecting both Japanese and Allied strategies. Admiral Karl Dönitz Dönitz was the mastermind behind Germany's feared U-boat fleet, which almost starved Britain into submission. His wolf pack tactics revolutionized submarine warfare, presenting a formidable threat to Allied naval logistics. Despite his strategic prowess, Dönitz's efforts could not prevent the eventual Allied victory. Admiral Ernest King Admiral King, as Chief of Naval Operations, was known for his relentless push to expand and modernize the U.S. Navy. Under his command, the U.S. Navy became a dominant force across both the Atlantic and Pacific theaters. King's aggressive strategies were instrumental in the Allied powers' ultimate success. Admiral William F. Halsey Known for his bold and aggressive leadership, Admiral Halsey's command of the U.S. Third Fleet was marked by fierce campaigns against the Japanese. His decisions during the Battle of Late Gulf were particularly critical in crippling Japan's naval capabilities. Halsey's dynamic approach helped ensure American dominance at sea. Admiral Andrew Cunningham Admiral Cunningham's leadership in the Mediterranean was vital for securing Allied supply lines and defeating Axis naval forces. His brilliant orchestration of the Taranto attack showcased innovative tactics that neutralized Italian battleships. Cunningham's strategies underscored the importance of naval power in controlling critical sea routes. Admiral Raymond Spruance Spruance's calm and calculated demeanor was pivotal during the Battle of Midway, where his decisions led to a disastrous defeat for the Japanese fleet. His leadership not only secured American victory in one of the most crucial battles of the Pacific, but also demonstrated the effective use of intelligence in naval warfare. Admiral Louis Mountbatten Mountbatten was a key figure in special operations and the development of amphibious warfare techniques. His planning and execution of combined operations in Southeast Asia were critical in undermining Japanese defenses. Mountbatten's innovative approach to warfare significantly contributed to the Allied victory in the region. Admiral Mark Mitcher As a pioneer of naval aviation, Mitcher's leadership of the Fast Carrier Task Force was essential in delivering decisive blows to the Japanese. His use of aircraft carriers changed the nature of naval warfare, emphasizing air power and mobility. Mitcher's strategies paved the way for the success of American naval forces in the Pacific. Admiral Sir Bruce Fraser Admiral Fraser commanded the British Pacific Fleet during critical phases of the Pacific War, his collaboration with American forces ensured effective joint operations, which were crucial for the final push against Japan. Fraser's role was instrumental in integrating Allied naval efforts in the Pacific theater. These ten admirals exemplified strategic brilliance and bold leadership during a time of global turmoil. Their decisions not only defined the outcome of battles, but also shaped the future of naval warfare. Their legacy continues to influence military strategies today.